Data management is a very interesting and a very important area for customers. Every business generates data, whether it's an airline reservation system, whether it's a retail, uh, it, generates, it generates data. Uh, and that data is typically generated by some sort of a mission critical 24 by 7 system. And that system needs to be scalable, it needs to be highly available, it needs to be globally available, accessible to its customers. And once the, the data is generated, it goes through the pipeline to uh, where the business analyst and the business side of the, of the customer's uh, uh, environment needs to look at that data and make key business decisions uh, to compete and to, to you know, efficientize their processes and so forth and so on. So our services follow the entire data life cycle. One of the great examples I can give you is a customer that we worked with recently who worked with nonprofit organizations. And they were having a significant problem because uh, a lot of their customers who are nonprofit organizations, they rely for majority of the contribution to come around very uh, at the end of the year, around the Christmas time when people are, are very generous and they want to you know, have tax deductions and so forth and so on. And around that time, they would start having performance problems with their mission critical applications. So it was directly impacting their ability to actually collect that revenue and record it in a timely fashion. We got involved with the customer and we helped them build an architecture that would scale uh, based on the demands of the customer. So for example, if they had a customer that was go, you know, suddenly got a very significant level of contributions, they don't have to change anything in the back end. The back end was smart enough to scale itself. It's, you know, what we call agility. is agile enough to scale it and, and, and uh, accommodate the increased transaction rates. One of the things that we're doing is we, we are uh, truly becoming a global organization and uh, in order to become a global organization and service clients across the world, we have to have the right structure in place. We have to have the right responsibilities, roles and responsibilities for appropriate teams and individuals. So what we try to do is we want to make sure that we have the structure, we have uh, people understand what they, where they belong within the organization, what their roles and responsibilities are, and how they can help the company grow uh, in a global way. So we're really keeping uh, a very global perspective to everything we're doing right now uh, as we expect to increase our revenues around the world uh, significantly over the next few years. We are in technology services business and human capital means everything. Our people go on site to customers and solve their problems. And in order to do that in a successful way and keep growing, we've got to take care of our human capital. We actually officially created the human capital uh, management team uh, and, and recruited people who understand the intricacies and the importance of it. The very first step would be to go to our website, which we have overhauled significantly. Uh, and it talks about our, our core competencies, talks about our industry experience, and talks about uh, the kind of uh, skill set we have and the caliber of people we have to, to help them solve data management problems uh, and provide solutions around that. Uh, the other thing was that uh, you know we have uh, sales representatives servicing across the, the different uh, territories in the region. So uh, they can obviously contact them uh, and get more information regarding how we can help them solve the problems. We're very excited about uh, being ready to service our customers in the data management space. So uh, please contact us so we can help you get more from your data. <laughs>